Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is a bonus reading for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We are going to discover a little bit about the collective energies for the new year. So always remember that this is a general reading, take what resonates and leave the factors that you know don't belong to your situation. If you enjoy the reading, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's start this free ride. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. 2021 let's see what we can discover for you guys and here we go so beginning of the year eight of cups four of cups the emperor temperance energy Middle of the year, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Six of Swords, Knight of Wands, End of the year, The Devil, King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Cups, an energy that can be about scenarios, options, choices, decisions that may be involved along the journey so guys I will guide you through the spread beginning of the year we see the eight of cups the four of cups the emperor and the temperance it is quite a flow of energies because um, it offers for some of you the opportunity to move towards some situation, some interaction that can truly be a source for balance, for healing also, and even the opportunity to display your finer qualities, the chance to take action in a driven way. And yes, because of the Eight of Cups, some of you may have the chance to leave behind something that as I usually say, couldn't fulfill properly heart and soul. This can be a well-evaluated decision because of the moon in the background that grants the proper depth to the thinking process. It can be something that uh, may ask to some of you to close a little bit uh, in front of others' opinions or others offers for example because of the four of cups this man is a little bit closed off because he's kind of evaluating something that may not be exactly as he desires and it's a quiet moment that can be helpful so that the proper action is taken and action is the mantra that we can associate to the emperor energy there is leadership within the major arcana of the emperor he knows how to get things done he knows how to put into action a plan well thought and this is the kind of approach that can make the difference in the long run because it is focused and this can pay off the temperance energy adds to the mix about the uh, first part of the year a touch of wisdom a touch of balance because the temperance is uh, an energy about a divine alchemy the ability to uh, find uh, compromises with other people find common grounds find uh, other people halfway uh, balancing things out without forgetting the values that we believe in but this is the ability to truly make the best out of different situations kind of choosing the best possible approach that 
we need to take and this can be important considering the overall energy that it is about choices and decisions so middle of the year the flow of energies um, gets um, an interesting vibe because of the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you may have the chance to establish um, an ongoing connection, kind of reaching the goal that the Ten of Pentacles uh, represents. This is legacy, a family opportunity that is built on solid ground that can stand the test of time because it is properly structured. There are common values, uh, shared virtues within a connection that is able to vibe in a Ten of Pentacles way. Others of you may have this goal in mind that comes with um, a fair companion and possibly with a more material stability, for example. Then we get um, a touch of passion that is kind of offered by the Knight of Wands. This can be an energy that uh, may truly ignite a spark within some of you because you have set your mind and your heart to some kind of meaningful goal because the Three of Wands is an energy that is aimed at the higher level of manifestation. The man in the card has set his intentions in a very clear way, he has thrown them out into the universe, kinda trusting that the universe will work with him, kinda rewarding his effort. So we are waiting for the sun to come up, we are waiting for the ships to come in with all their treasures, satisfaction, fulfillment. This can be the opportunity to live behind rough waters for those of you that can resonate with uh, that kind of scenario. The Six of Swords, a very quiet energy that is the opportunity to move closer and closer to scenarios that are more in alignment with our wishes, with our desires. Plus, this is a very quiet energy that I kind of like because of the temperance um, factor involved in this uh, spread because um, we are able to convey a message in a precise way without making a fuss about anything especially if something was not a source of satisfaction before we kind of let the flow going so that we can move forward the Knight of Wands, again, can be a spark of passion that some of you may have the chance to channel uh, in first person, allow me to say. This can be even the opportunity to deal with an individual if you are um, still single, going through the middle of the year. The chance to deal with an individual that can be fiery, that can be passionate about you, about the opportunities that uh, may involve... Um, time uh, that can be spent with uh, some of you guys. I know that the Knight of Wands sometimes can get the uh, player energy. This will depend, of course, uh, based on the uh, several scenarios that can take place in each and every one of us journey. But still, I'm leaning towards the fact that the Knight of Wands can be an energy um, that can truly be passionate about goals and things um, that can be achieved. This can be a mindset that hopefully can be manifested in a healthy way, kind of uh, being a little bit excited, for example, about some opportunity that can be um, truly manifested in a satisfying way so this is kind of interesting the end of the year of course offers the uh, devil energy that uh, jumps to the attention but this can be the 
the chance for some of you to deal with a situation that requires a deeper understanding because the devil energy is an energy about excesses um, situations that can go from 0 to 100 in the snap of the fingers as I usually say the devil is about some kind of pattern that can be involved in a situation that requires the proper understanding so that a person that is involved in a situation like this one can get the proper knowledge so that can break free from the cycle so this can be an opportunity to learn especially if you find yourself in the kind of situation that you are able to perceive as the as the opportunity to pay attention to some factor that you know is not exactly a source of satisfaction and this is the main feeling that I'm getting with this devil energy for others of you this can be uh, an energy about passion and attraction that can go along with the knight of wands this can be a fiery connection for example because the devil remember can be considered as the other side of the coin represented by the lovers two ways of uh, kind of experiencing um, passionate love connection so again this will depend and then the um, energies involved in the last part of the 2021 are offering king of pentacles eight of pentacles three of pentacles talk about effort and the ability to produce results that can be truly a source of satisfaction for sure but at the same time foundations for the future these three energies can truly be considered as the ability to set solid grounds for the satisfaction of a person the king of pentacles is an energy that is extremely reliable it can provide for all his needs and it can do the same for the needs of those that he cares about i kind of love to see the king of pentacles considering the uh, ten of pentacles energy because they can go along pretty well plus we have the emperor so some of you may have truly the chance to establish the foundations for your own satisfaction because you are able to put in the effort eight of pentacles a laser focused approach just like this beautiful man who knows what it takes to bring to life all the beautiful pentacles that as i usually say are the source for his uh, satisfaction fulfillment and success and this can be even the opportunity to um, work in a productive way with those around you with the three of pentacles energy that can be considered as the chance again to build for the future solid foundations but at the same time learning from those around you meaningful lessons things that we didn't know before and that can enrich our knowing for example so that we can uh, truly display the uh, most powerful qualities that we have to share in the everyday life so this is quite a flow it offers truly the opportunity to uh, take action in a balanced but extremely proactive way and it also grants the chance to leave behind some kind of situation that a person can recognize as something not exactly 
in alignment with the kind of satisfaction that one may pursue. So, guys, let's see a couple of bullet points considering these energies. Let's see what can be a lesson for the upcoming year. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see. One card. What can be a lesson for the upcoming year? Four of Cups, which is an energy already on the table. Um, the ability to recognize if uh, an opportunity, a situation, can be like the one that we desire to pursue. And possibly this can be an invitation to uh, consider also the situations that can be slightly different from what we may have in mind because they can still um, offer something that can be meaningful, that can be important, that can be even a source of surprise. And so with the Four of Cups energy coming back, I feel that it can be considered as a meaningful factor. So let's see what can be a challenge for the upcoming year. Let's see. The Hierophant. Establishing um, solid interactions, I want to say, because the Hierophant is an energy about partnerships, and we can agree this is an extremely spiritual energy. But this is also an energy about lessons, which uh, kind of makes sense, considering the opportunity to grow that we have in this spread, guys, and also an energy about choices. How can we manifest a goal so that it can stand the test of time, so that it can, it can be uh, stable, grounded? And this is an encouragement, basically, because if this energy is about a potential challenge for the year, you have quite a lot of energies involved that can help in the process of building for a stable future in alignment with the goals that you want to achieve. So let's ask for general guidance considering these energies. Let's discover what factors can play a role in the mix. Wisdom of the Oracle deck. First of the list. Let's see. Go the distance. This is quite um, quite an energy. And to be fair, bottom of the deck. So the divine alchemy granted by the temperance can be uh, quite the ability so that you can display the most fair version of yourself in every interaction that you will be called to entertain. This can be the opportunity to achieve your goals because the good distance is truly an encouragement to embrace the marathon kind of being able to set your eyes on the finish line so that you can power through because you are able to put in the required effort in every situation kind of offering to all the interaction the best possible version of yourself and this can bring you closer and closer towards your goals in a kind of emperor way I would say so let's see the activation decks what they may have to tell us all right happiness 
Another encouragement, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. This is lovely to see. Bottom of the deck, a touch of worry as a factor, but the message is I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. It doesn't. Um, intentions and actions can change an outcome. And we have both of these energies involved in this reading, considering the Emperor, considering the Three of Wands energy, and the actions that can be granted by the King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles energy that we have seen. Let's see the second activation deck. Right. Priorities. You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. This is about uh, getting things done in the proper way, which is another recurrent uh, feeling that this reading is offering. It's a knowing. It's uh, the ability to recognize how to manifest properly the goal that we can have in our mind and in our heart and we need to follow some steps just like the man in the eight of pentacles uh, is able to do willingness bottom of the deck you are able to compromise if the end result is love compromise is a factor within the temperance energy find common ground meeting other people halfway so that we can truly make the best out of the situations that we are involved with so that even uh, a practical sacrifice can pay off in the long run let's see the moon deck what can offer to this reading all right first cab out the energy is gaining momentum and bottom of the deck look at the bigger picture yes indeed if it is a marathon we need to set the eyes on the finish line but kind of being present in the moment to make the best out of it the goal is pretty clear with this reading is to again kind of um, set solid foundation for the future and the energy is gaining momentum is quite a confirmation about the fact that if we are able to put in the required effort and kind of following the uh, necessary steps we can achieve positive results and positive outcomes and this can be quite um, quite an encouragement, guys. So I think that it can be um, a good way to uh, close this reading. Guys, uh, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, let us know and subscribe to the channel. On behalf of the Wolf in the Wind team, a big thank you for the time that you share with us and for your support to the channel. We wish you happy holidays and a happy new year. Let's hope for the best. Until next time, take very good care of you guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye.